Hey, welcome back to Tiny Garage Fabrication. My name is Matt, and today we continue work on the Feral Cat, our 1967 Mercury Cougar. In this episode, we'll cut out the cancer from underneath the dash and make brand new panels from scratch that will perform better than new. My approach to doing this rust repair may be considered a shortcut, maybe not. It's probably not the way that most people would recommend doing it, but the reason I'm doing it this way is because I don't want to mess up this paint job. I don't have the time or money to repaint this car. We're going to get around that and we are not going to mess up the paint. I got a couple of cool products that I'm going to use, well I'm going to try, and they're supposed to keep everything from burning and we'll see how that works out. Stay tuned. this complex shape onto sheet metal. Basically, just took some paper, and kind of hold it over here, take magnets, and run the magnets like all the way to an edge. And then you can get the contours, you know, give or take like so. Just kind of run magnets around. Where you know you're gonna to have to shrink it if you're doing a compound curve like that, you just fold the paper, make good creases in it. And at the end, you just kind of tape over the lines, trace it out, cut it out. So here's how I came to where I'm at. I took the old rusty piece, I got some paper, I formed it around where it needed to be. I traced that onto some sheet metal, and then I used it to make a basic shape. And I continue to take this in and out of the car and continue to refine it to set it up, draw an edge, trim it, set it up, draw an edge, trim it. And then I was able to take this and then, honestly, I shouldn't have trimmed the sheet metal first to this. I should have continued with this. But it's nice to be able to get the sheet metal into place because it's a little bit stiffer than this. So I did waste some, you know, no big deal. And I'll show you what it looks like in the car. So you can see here is how it sits. Uh, might be able to get the light to bounce around. You can see I got a couple of angles in there. Angle right here, and another one right here. And what that's going to do is that's going to bring all the water down this way, because this right here is where the exit is. So here is the patch. You see it was loose the base off of this template. And what I did ultimately here, you can see that the shape of one drastically different than the other. So instead of having this be parallel to the ground, actually maybe a little bit more than, and collecting water in here and getting all gross, this will now sit in there, you know, like this. And you can see the definite angle that it has. So any water that's going to come this way is not going to get stuck up here. It's going to slope this way and out the drainage hole. Like I said, going to make panels from scratch, make them better than OEM, going to weld them in. So the next trick would be to weld these back in place to here without getting so hot that we'll burn the paint. Got a pretty cool uh, product that'll help that out. So I'll be able to weld all across this line and keep this paint as it is. The patch panel is fully welded in. I applied seam sealer to where all the welds were. It looked kind of ugly. The apparently Ford made 
the original cowl and everything out of tin foil because even welding this at extremely low amperage just blew holes everywhere. So it's kind of a shit show. Uh, you can see it's all welded in, everything angles, and a nice drain path right out here. And couldn't ask for much more. I'm going to throw some paint on this bare metal piece and then prep for welding the corner back on. So I sprayed weld through primer all over this, got it grounded. I've already tack welded this kind of in place. I had just a couple tacks just to get it where I want it so I can move it around. There's going to be a lot more clamping and hammering to get it right. But once I start welding here, heat's going to want to come up and burn this paint. So I got this product called Cool Gel by Laco. Supposed to be able to spray it on the surface. It's a gel, it stays in place, and it will keep the heat from messing up what you're trying to work on. Let's spray it all around here. As you can see, I've got the panel fully welded. I have ground down the welds a little bit, especially these spot welds. This um, Eastwood MIG-135, I do not recommend it. Crap welder. Anyway, um, as you can see, there's no damage to the paint. It came out nice and good. This uh, heat gel, I sprayed it all along here. It kept all the heat out of there. I did have to keep applying it every, you know, couple of beads. I did space out the welds, you know, did a semi-proper sheet metal repair. I didn't grind these all the way flush. I'm going to run seam sealer across that and then paint it. The fender covers this whole piece. And it doesn't really matter if it has pinholes. Water can get in here because water gets in there. Just as long as it doesn't go through the panel underneath it into the interior. You know, so this doesn't have to be completely weather tight because it's got a big hole in it. So you can see I've applied seam sealer, and as far as I'm concerned, this side is complete. I just have to get the other side taken care of, but I'm going to do that off camera and show the results in the next video, because I'm sure this one's getting long enough. Well, that wraps it up for this episode. I'm going to continue on the driver's side. I'm going to fabricate a new one of these, but better, and weld the old piece back in. I'm going to do that all off camera, and I'll show the results at the beginning of the next video. So please stay tuned for the build. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Smash that like button if you uh, like my content. And next week, we're going to tackle the front engine bay, the frame rails, the inner fenders. I got a few rust repairs to do on that. And also, I'm going to prepare to get it ready for a brand new steering system. Something that was definitely not designed to go in this car, but I'm going to make it fit. So, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everybody.